Alright guys, Killer Nacho here, the new OU champion person, and I have a match here with Eo Sub Mia Itza. Sorry if I to completely butchered that name, I have no idea how to say it. But anyway, I lose Azelf, he leads with Infernape, and um, we're both going to set up Stealth Rock turn one. Um, I'm just going to Psychic to hit it down to its Focus Sash. Um, I'm guessing he doesn't have many like moves on this um, lead Infernape because he's just going to use the close combat, and that pretty much breaks my Sash, which is pretty good for him. So um, I'm just going to go for the Psychic. It's free damage on you know, it's a free kill on Infernape or what free damage on whatever he goes into. He ends up going into this clay doll, and um, I really don't want to deal with this clay doll, so I have the explosion. I don't think I really have anything to fear at this point, so I just go for the explosion, and that is going to take down the clay doll, which is pretty nice, because I don't really have to think about it for the rest of the match, and that's really good. So, um... Azov goes down. I'm going to go out into Flygon, um, because I can always U-turn um, to see what he switches into first. And he goes out into a Togekiss, and I really, um... Like, I don't think it can do a whole lot to Flygon. Most are, like, you know, use Thunder Wave and then try to hax you. So I decided to go for the Stone Edge and try to hit it. But um, he switches into Infernape to see what I'd do. And now he's going to go into a Celebi, who's probably a physical wall, you know, tank Celebi. So I go into Zapdos, um, because I really want to hit it with uh, Heat Wave, since that's, like, um, a special move and it's super effective. But he sets up the Leech Sheet on Zapdos, and I really don't feel good about that, so I have to switch. I really don't want to be Leech Sheeted. So I go out back into Flygon, because I know I can U-turn if he decides to Leech Sheet this. Um, instead, he goes for the Recover, I guess, to see what I do with um, Zapdos. I go for the U-turn, and that does more than half to Celebi, which is actually really good. And I'm going to go out into Scizor. And I really only do this, um, I know a lot of Celebi's carry Hidden Power Fire now. He sets up the Leech Sheet on me. But really, I'm just scouting to see if he has Hidden Power Fire, so I know I should if I should be uh, scared with Scissor in the future. So um, I'm going to switch into Tyranitar um, to see if he has the Hidden Power Fire. And he actually switches into Gyarados, which means that he doesn't have Hidden Power Fire, at least um, if he... Well, um, yeah, that probably means he doesn't have it. And um, I go into Tyranitar against his Gyarados. And... Um, Notice that his Gyarados is actually taking the damage um, second, and I'm healing second. So, um, that means I'm actually faster. I guess this is a bulky Gyarados, and my Tyranitar is a jolly Tyranitar. Um, so that means I'm faster. Um, he is going to survive just barely, but he tries to sub, and um, that doesn't work, and he's going to be taken down with the Sandstorm, which is really good for me. Um... So anyway, he goes out into a Luke now, and I really don't want to give this thing a free Swords Dance, so I decided to stay in and try to Earthquake, because I really don't need Tyranitar anymore, I think, and I'm just going to try to, like, I don't want to give him a free Swords Dance, because, um, that would be really, really bad. So he goes for the Close Combat, pretty good play on his part, and that's going to take down Tyranitar, but now I can pretty much Revenge Kill it with Zapdos. I don't think he can take me down with an Extreme Speed on a bulky, physically bulky Zapdos. He's going to try to go for the Swords Dance, and he just really needs to set up a Sweep in order to win, but I go for the Heat Wave, it hits, and that's going to take down Lucario, and that is really good for me. Um, so, yeah. I believe he goes into Togekiss now, and, um, I'm really not afraid of Togekiss on his Aptos. I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt since it's stabbed and super effective and should do decent damage. He's going to trick me a Choice Scarf, um, which is kind of cool just because, um, his last poke is Celebi, so that'll kind of force me to switch because I'm not going to be able to beat a Celebi with Thunderbolt, obviously. So, yeah, he sets up the Scarf, and now I'm locked in Thunderbolt. He goes into his last guy, Celebi, but I'm not really afraid, because I know that he doesn't have him power fire now, and that means Scizor can really just go ballistic on it. Um, pretty much, I can get a one-hit KO with U-turn. So he sets up the Leech Sheet on Flygon, um, and I really only went into Flygon, so he wouldn't do something gay to Scizor, pretty much. I don't know. So I'm just going to go for the U-turn here. If he doesn't, if it, the, this U-turn doesn't kill Celebi, I'll just go into Scizor and have Scizor kill Celebi. I mean, that's what I'm looking at. So I go for the U-turn, doesn't quite KO Celebi. So I go into U-turn, pretty much, or Scizor, pretty much for the win. Um, he's going to recover here, and he's actually going to recover next turn, too. Um, so that'll bring Celebi's health all the way up. Um, but then U-turn will bring his health all the way down. So, um, really, uh, fun match. Um, I'm just going to call you EO, because I have no idea how to pronounce your name. But, um, good match, EO. Um, challenge us again. I don't even know if that's our policy, but, um, yeah. Um, hail the Federation and stuff, and, um, rate, comment, subscribe to the Federation, and, um, yeah. Um, great game. Peace, dude.